Hey guys, how's it going? My name's Frost and welcome back to the top 5. Hell yeah, the top 5 of May 2021. If you're unaware what these are, basically once every month, normally at the start, um, I do a top 5 on a different game. This is actually the first top 5 of Overwatch this year. We did quite a lot last year, but this year this is the first one. And we're going to be looking at the top 5 heroes with the best skins in Overwatch. Now these are heroes that you know, get a lot, they don't necessarily get a lot of skins, but when they do, or you know, they might get a lot of skins, they might not, but when they do, the skins are out of the park and Blizzard do an amazing job. Now I just want to point one thing out straight away, is that just because a hero is not on this list, it does not mean their skins are utter garbo. What it means is I had to compress it into a list of the top five. Every hero in this game has, you know, at least one amazing skin. Some more, some more than others. But yeah, and also, if you want to suggest a top 5 for future, do so either in the comments or on my Discord server, it's the best way to get me to do one. I won't do everything because some things are just, you know, harder to do than others. But this is the one for this month, the first Overwatch top 5 for 2021. Hell yeah, hopefully you guys are as excited for this as I am. And with that being said, you know, hopefully you guys like this video. If you do, be sure you thumbs up and all that. And yeah, let's get into this son of a bitch. So number 5 was actually the hardest spot for me to pick, right? Now hear me out, but it's Reaper, right? Number 5 is Reaper. But it was actually the hardest spot for me to pick, and hear me out, right? As I said at the start, Overwatch has a lot of, you know, every Overwatch character has at least one good skin. And a lot of them have many, so the number 5 spot was basically really hard for me and I need to brainstorm, right? Between Junkrat, Genji, Reaper, as I picked, you know, Winston, Roadhog, Zunyata. There was a lot of good heroes. There was a lot of heroes with good skins. But I picked Reaper because Reaper has very consistent good skins. Uh, whether it be Dracula, whether it be Pumpkin, whether it be Laboo, whether it be Hellfire from the Blizzard World event, which isn't really an event legendary skin, but I just wanted to throw that in there. Uh, what else has there? There's Biker. It's not cyclist, sorry. Basically, there's a lot of really, really good Reaper skins. He's Overwatch's Edge Lord, right? And they don't change the mask much. It's always the same kind of white color. But you know that doesn't matter, right? Reaper just has these amazing skins every time he gets one. Like I can't name any bad Reaper skins. Like I know there's Rat King that not a lot of people like. I I don't personally hate it. I mean, I think, it's, I think it fits him quite well, actually. You know? So yeah, Reaper just has those consistent skins that really fit his personality well. They're always dark and edgy, and that's always what Blizzard tries to go with. You know? I'd, it'd be funny to see Reaper in, like, bright pink, but ultimately, I don't think we're going to see that anytime soon, because it doesn't fit his character lore. I mean, we might see it. Who knows? I'm not, I'm not a genius. But yeah, Reaper comes at number five. Hardest spot to pick, but yeah, we just put him here. And at number four, we've put the cover girl herself, Tracer. I don't think anyone's going to disagree with me here when I say that Tracer has some of the best skins in Overwatch. Um, consistently, from the start, she's had really good skins. Graffiti, Cadet Oxton, Will-O-Wisp. Even like non-event skins with uh, things like Rose for the Lunar New Year. Each have a different colour pattern that work really well with her. Trace is one of those bright and bubbly characters of Overwatch where, regardless of what kind of colour pattern you go for, it's bound to fit her some way. The only bad um, skin for Tracer, the one that no one really likes, is uh, Lightning Tracer. But Lightning Tracer is, well, well it's something, let's put it that way. Um, <laughs> Yeah, I don't know many of you that like Lightning Tracer. It's arguably her worst skin. Um, not a lot of people like her base legendary skins, but we're not really focusing on them. I mean, yes, they're good, apart from... I don't really like the punk ones. They're alright, um, don't get me wrong, but I don't really like them. But, yeah. Tracer has some of the best event skins in Overwatch, and I don't think anyone's going to disagree with me on this. They always fit so well, and I like how they change the gun up a lot. You know, with especially graffiti and, and especially, they changed their gun to have, you know, the paint canisters and stuff all in it. It's 
they're really good skins, alright? But as I said, all heroes have at least one good skin, but Blizzard obviously do very good with Tracer. Otherwise she wouldn't be on this list. And yeah. Um Tracer, fan favourite, obviously. Um now I'm not holding any biases. I think I should point this out. Well, I mean I kinda am because it's my list, but Ultimately, I'm just going with what I see a lot of other people going with. And yeah, Tracer comes in at the number 4 spot for those reasons. At number 3, I put D.Va. Um, yeah, D.Va is very... D.Va's in the same boat as Tracer, basically. She's has very consistently good skins. But unlike Tracer with, you know, Lightning, um, I don't think D.Va has a bad skin, other than maybe our base legendary skins, but that's ultimately down to opinion. And not even all of them, Beva and Junebug are actually really good skins, it's the Junker Town kinda scavenger I believe they're called. That kinda ones just don't fit her very well. Now ultimately that is my opinion, but you know, whatever. Her event legendary skins on the other hand, every time she gets one, Blizzard knocks it out of the park, 100%. Whether it be, you know, um, Cruiser, you know, it gives that 1950s aesthetic look. Amazing, right? Whether it be Academy, amazing. Whether it be our Summer Games skin, which I forgot the name of, amazing. Whether it be our, you know, Halloween 2020 event skin, which I'm not going to pronounce because I know I'm going to fuck it up, amazing. Now, the design of D.Va herself as a character is good. However, it's what Blizzard can do with her mech that I feel like makes these amazing skins. Like, D.Va, like, as just baby D.Va, yeah, they look good, especially stuff like Cruiser and all that, they look amazing, don't get me wrong. But it's what they can do with the mech suit, you know? Like how in the 2020 uh, Halloween skin they made it look like a kind of haunted hutch, and in Cruiser it looks like, you know, a 1950s kind of car. The the mech suit itself is what makes D.Va D.Va. And what they can do with D.Va and these skins is just purely amazing. I don't think anyone's going to disagree with me on this one. You might put D.Va higher or lower, but ultimately I feel like D.Va deserves to be on this list regardless of who you are. And she comes in at the number 3 spot. Now, I actually debated putting Ash, who's number 2, at the 3rd spot. Um, but I decided to just put her here. Um, now, I won't say it's set in stone, you can switch between D.Va and Ash, but Ash is our number two spot. Why, you may ask? Well, Blizzard have done amazing jobs with Ash's skins, even though she doesn't have that much compared to other heroes. Ash just has really amazing skins. What they can do with her, and what they can do with Bob. And this is shown, you know, Tiger Huntress from the 2021 New Year. Amazing. They turned Bob into a tiger. What's not to like about that? Bob went from a robot butler to a tiger. What can you not love about that? You know, you've got uh, Little Red Ash from the story Little Red Riding Hood, as I'm sure most of you would hear of. They turned Bob into the grandma wolf. Or the wolf that turned to be the grandma, depending on what you want to say about that. Um, you know, with Ash being Little Red Riding Hood, and they knocked all those skins knocked out the park, right? Even our non legend uh, event based legendary skins, sorry, are amazing. Where she's like a mobster, it fits her like kind of character so well. You know, the mobster one, especially. Um, I can't remember, oh no, the Huntress skins, they're alright. Um, I won't disagree, you know, they're not the worst. Only anyone's gonna, you know, sit and say, you know, they're shite, but. Ultimately, Ash, even though she's a newer hero, not really newer, but she doesn't have as much skins compared to like, you know, other heroes who have been in the game longer. Even though she doesn't have as much skins, Blizzard, for some reason, just do amazingly well with Ash's skins. Whether it be her, whether it be Bob, whether it be the gun, doesn't matter what it is. Ash consistently has good skins, and I put her at number two for those reasons. And, yeah basically. And now, we move to the number one spot. Mercy. Now, this could be seen as biased, seeing as I am, you know, a Mercy main. If you've been with my channel for long, you'd probably know this. But, hear me out, right? Unlike other heroes who've had maybe started off bad, like Zarya and Soldier, and then got really amazing skins down the line, or just people who've had really good skins in general, I don't think there's been a bad Mercy skin that's legendary based. 
from events, okay? And what I mean by that is some of the epic skins, like most recently with the 2021 Archives event when we had Camouflage, yeah, okay, I'll admit, the skin wasn't the greatest. I don't mind it personally. I know a lot of people despise it with a passion. I don't mind it, but yeah, it's definitely not the best. But hear me out, right? Every time she gets a legendary event skin, Mercy is one of those heroes where they do it consistently well. Alright, Witch Mercy, um, Winged Victory Mercy, uh, Combat Medic Ziegler, whether it be Dragoon, whether it be, um, what's the other one? Zuki, is that how you say it? Uh, whether it be Sugar Plum Fairy, regardless of what the skin is, they look Mercy, Mercy looks really good in it. And I don't think anyone's going to disagree with me on this. You might put her lower on the list. Sure, by all means, if you want to make your own list, you can do that, but this is my list, so... I just feel like Mercy has the best skins in Overwatch. It doesn't necessarily do with her lore, other than like Combat Medic Ziegler, but that's because that whole event was based off a of lore, as much, you know, the Archives event normally is. Um, but yeah, there's just something about Mercy that just makes her consistently good skins. And Blizzard do an amazing job with each year. I've said that so many times in this video, but with Mercy, I properly mean that. Like, as I said, there's no bad... Well, Ultimate comes into opinion, but in my opinion, there is no bad Mercy event legendary skins. Now, we could disagree on this. You might disagree with this list completely. You might have someone else taking another spot. But yeah, guys, that's going to be all from me. Hopefully you enjoyed the top five this month. As I said, if you want to recommend one, do so in the Discord or comments. Do you like the video? Do you agree with me? Let me know, you know. Hope you guys enjoyed this one. I've been your boy Frost. Peace.